And welcome back guys, Dingsy here with the Let's Play of Supreme League of Patriots issue 1 from Patriot is Born on Aviba TV. And I guess we're about to get to work instead. Mel! Well done. But I guess we need to walk out. Oh no, the location was set on the map, I think. Let's see if I can click to use what's gonna happen. Guess we're gonna use it, but this is new. Here we go. From the alley. Oh my. The building next to ours has a fire escape. It doesn't actually go down to the ground, and it's impossible to get onto it from any apartment in the building. But it satisfies building regulations. <laughs> Does that mean ours is illegal? Should we report it to someone? We're low priority out here, mate. After 9 p.m., even 911 has a voicemail service. Holy shit. Please report your crime after the beep. <laughs> Damn. There are strict parking regulations in New York City, and you don't get underground parking out here. In fact, the only time you see someone with off-street parking, it's usually the result of a failed vehicular homicide. These parking meters aren't in use anymore. The city decided they were unnecessary. No bugger around here can afford a car. <laughs> I can remember getting into a lot of trouble setting off a hydrant like this when I was a kid. I thought the city allowed kids to open fire hydrants during periods of hot weather. Yeah, that's what they say. But you should see how the firefighters react when you actually open them up. <laughs> then it's all, don't unplug my hose, you freaking moron. <laughs> they get very uncool, dude. Uncool, dude. Perhaps they felt that cooling down wasn't much of a priority at the time. Easy for you to say. When you're standing on the sidewalk outside Mario's Deli and fire is gutting the whole building, <laughs> it's pretty damn hard to stay cool. Damn. The jokes. What else do we have here? The door back in. Another meter. He's parking. No. And that's it. Oh, we can walk. Okay. Let's discover the world of this game. Where did we go? We live in the park on 10A. Oh, there is the map. A new location has been added. NYPD. I'm going there. Why oh, is a theater? Oh man. Okay, I'm going there. Call what? Wow. I guess he gets it to the more. Did you have to do that? In the phone booth. <laughs> of course I did. Can't very well go into work dressed as a comic book superhero. It doesn't present a very professional attitude to work. Nice hair, dude. I mean, did you have to get changed <laughs> in a phone booth? What's wrong with that? A lot of superheroes get changed in phone booths. <laughs> yes, but most wait for the lady making a call to finish first. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, that was, that was too <laughs> It's a public phone booth. <laughs> oh my god. I'm well, laughing like an idiot, I'm sorry. Glass. It's a very small space in there. You try changing out of a <laughs> pair of tights without getting pressed up against the glass. <laughs> What's right, take? It's not ringing. Oh, the phone. And it's not likely to. The only reason to make a call to a phone booth these days is to call your dealer. <laughs> and most dealers prefer to work a little further away from the nearest police station. There's a police car. I know it's kind of childish, but I'd love to drive one of these with the lights blazing and sirens blaring. Please. I've seen you drive. You should always have lights <laughs> blazing and sirens blaring. <laughs> Damn. What if we take it? I don't think Sam would appreciate it if we took the squad car. Unless maybe it was an emergency. 
If you took that squad car and Sam found out about <laughs> it, it would definitely be an emergency. Man, Sam seems to be like a hot ass. I don't think it's possible to turn the siren and lights on without getting inside and starting the car. Or without being arrested. <laughs> or if it's open. Okay, so... What? There's an exit here. Is this gonna do the map? No, 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 you can't cancel once you click. Well, we can't go anywhere but here, okay. I guess we're going in major climbs. I just clicked it and he went, man, why so sad? The big fella. NYPD. Open up. Is that Sam? Samantha. Holy shit, she's angry. Oh, you talk to her first. This desk belongs to Sam. Why is she on the other side? Now I come to think of it, it's a bit odd that Sam's desk is out here with the others. Don't lieutenants usually have their own offices? Usually. Yeah, but Sam refused to take one. She told the captain that she didn't want to distance herself from her detectives. Damn. She didn't want them to think she was unapproachable, or that she was management after she got her promotion. That sounds like Sam. I've always said she's a loyal colleague. Also, it's much easier to throw things at people <laughs> from out here. <laughs> Oh, there it is, the real reason. Oh, that was a smartphone. Wow, this is a fancy phone. What can I say? I'm an apple whore. Wow. You're a cheap date. Most women expect a three course meal at the very least. Oh shit, the puns. Easy cards. There are a lot of shit going on. Wait. I can't click the outside, I need to click exactly on the window. Okay. Outside this window is the NYPD parking lot. And beyond that, there's a park. I can see Sam's Lexus in the parking lot. What? How do you know that's hers? It's parked on top of a panhandler. <laughs> Damn, Sam, let's talk. That's Sam. She's a detective with the NYPD. And how we work She's with kind her? of our boss, in the sense that no one else in the precinct wanted to have to speak to us, and she drew the short straw. <laughs> she has a body like a memory foam pillow. No matter oh. how often you manhandle it, it always returns to its original shape. Oh, or in this know. instance, no matter how often someone else manhandles it. Let's take her. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> Carl. Carl's been trying to pick her up since the day he met her. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, she doesn't like his liberal attitudes to life. She's slightly to the right of Genghis Khan. <laughs> and we're a couple of bleeding heart liberals. <laughs> At least, that's what Sam always calls us. It's safe to assume she calls us other things when we're <laughs> out of earshot. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Sam. Come on, Sam. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming in at such short notice. Mm, I know we that voice. Happy to help. He was happy to help. <laughs> I was bloody annoyed to do it. Typical. I know you guys had plans today. The America's Got Superpowers auditions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm hoping that a big talent agent will spot me when it airs on TV. Whereas last time he got spotted on TV, <laughs> it was just his social security fraud investigator. <laughs> Well, I promise you this won't take long. I just need those interviews transcribed and then you can get off. Is everything okay? You said on the phone you had an urgent personal matter to take care of. It's probably a date. Yeah, everything's fine. My sister came down with something and she needs me to collect the kids oh. from school and fill a prescription for her. Okay. I'll ask for Superheroes a date. Superheroes are cool, huh? I bet you'd have a lot more respect for me if I was a superhero. Let's see what she's gonna say. Screw superheroes. They have Ooh. no respect for the law. They ignore rapists and serial killers <laughs> because there's more publicity in tackling bank robberies and street crime. 
Most of all, they don't care what happens to the law enforcement officers when they take their tights off and go home for the night. Who's looking out for us? I'm always watching your ass. Yeah. I know. It's the reason I stopped wearing tight leather pants. I was for a date. Hey, Sam. How about you let me buy you a drink after work? Yes, yeah, Sam. How about No, it? I'm just gonna go home, soak in a warm bath, and then watch a feel-good movie. Oh, we watched one of those last night. <laughs> this hot babe had her washing machine break down, and this plumber, he had the biggest... <laughs> no, mate, that's not what she means by a feel-good movie. <laughs> I'm talking about wholesome entertainment. A chick flick. Oh. Oh, we tried to get one of those, <laughs> but the ones with just chicks are always the first ones rented out. <laughs> New Desperando Achievement of the Walks. Have you ever dated a superhero? <laughs> I had a few dates with Captain Lightning. Oh, the Is it true he can run ten times faster than a normal man? <laughs> oh, he does everything ten times oh. faster than a normal man. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> the burn. <laughs> so you said on the phone you want us to transcribe some interviews? Yes, it shouldn't take more than an hour at the most. Why don't you shove brooms up our asses? We can <laughs> sweep up while we work. <laughs> no, don't exaggerate. <laughs> Excuse me. You could fit a carpet shampoo up yours anyway. <laughs> Damn. Where are the interviews? They're on SD cards. There are two on my desk, but the third one was needed for a camera. The camera has subsequently gone missing. <laughs> oh shit. It. How is this going to take an convenient. hour? convenient. When Internal Affairs is asked to investigate allegations of police brutality, <laughs> the recording of the interview is nowhere to be found. For God's sake, Melvin, not everything is a conspiracy. Someone probably just forgot to put it back when they finished with it. So you just want the interviews processed on the workstation and transcribed into text? Just... Yeah, a few things came up in the interviews that I'd like to run against our databases. It's probably nothing, but it doesn't hurt to try. Especially when someone else is doing all the donkey work. Wow, at least we got everything here. We understand what we have to do. You can take off now. So cool. Okay, let's see that ass. Oh. Not impressive. All the best to your sister. Huh? Oh, right. Thanks, guys. Wow. That bitch. She lied to us. Then Griffin gave you two SD cards, which she wants you to transcribe. You need to use mail, mail workstation in the tech room. What was the tech room? Okay. The final SD card you have to transcribe is in a camera somewhere in the NYPD offices. Find the camera, retrieve the card, and process it for her. Sure! Those are the SD cards. Pick it up. He came up. Why is the workstation though? Man. These must contain the interviews that Sam wants us to transcribe. 32 gigs, but. Yeah, do you want to let me hold on to them though? I still have vivid memories of lending you my USB drive. Damn. It still worked, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, once we got all the sour cream out of it. Take the smartphone. Just like that. I can't think of anyone to call. Just as well. Sam's installed a new app which automatically sets off an alarm if you pick up her phone. Oh. <laughs> Just me? How can the phone possibly know it's my hand picking it up? Dunno. Perhaps it scans the screen for saturated fats and corn syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Did I mention that as well as sounding an alarm, it also reports the phone stolen and enables GPS tracking? Uh, no. I knew I forgot to mention something. Oh, she's gonna come back right now. No? 
Why is her phone here? Damn it. Okay, let's check. Tech room door, okay. Was this the notice board? This notice board contains an assortment of notices and reports on a wide range of NYPD related subjects. There's everything from a softball team roster through to a 30 year old E fit. So I make the softball team this year, Mel? <laughs> no, mate, sorry. Too big, dude. Sorry. Oh, man. I really thought I was going to make it this year. Why do you think they left me out? I don't think it was about ability, mate, so much as strategy. This year, they're aiming mostly for guys who hit the ball without letting go of the bat. <laughs> Damn. Well, there's a calendar here. This year, they picked 12 officers from the five boroughs to model for the calendar. All proceeds go to the NYPD Widows and Orphans Charity. This is still set to March, but it's April now. Why hasn't someone turned the page over? Good point. Sam felt that the April photo was inappropriate for a public place. Oh, let's check it out. Inappropriate? What do you mean? Let me put it this way. The officer featured for April, well, it's not his baton he's holding. Damn! <laughs> he, this one is holding his baton. <laughs> what the fuck is he holding yellow? <laughs> Damn, I wanna see it. Oh, on the second thought. I don't know, get outside. Fuck it, let's go process this shit. Wait, can I give them to... To Mel? No, I can't. Wait. What I have selected. Yeah, the two cards, okay. Let's go. That's the tech room. It's where I administrate the entire network for the precinct. Smart it's dude. also my janitor's closet. Oh, that's why they. Which gives together. you an excellent sense of the esteem in which my work here <laughs> is held. <laughs> oh, he's the janitor. Damn. Let's see what we can do in here. Oh wow! I wish my janitor closet like this. Nice station you got there, bro. I like the keyboard. Wireless. Okay. That's strange. This box isn't meant to be here. How can you know that? Yeah. I've memorized the location of every box in this room. Dude, that's a bit sad. <laughs> I don't have much choice. A magical fairy keeps leaving half-eaten cream-filled sponge cakes <laughs> in the boxes on my shelves. If I don't find them, they go off and the whole room is full of fumes. Really? Imagine that. <laughs> well, let's take it. Shall I have a look and see what's in this box you don't recognize? Please do. If it turns out to be another foxhound operative sneaking into the building, the boss will have my guts for garters. Okay, let's check it out. There is a camera. No special ops guys, but there is a camera and a whole bunch of file folders. It's probably that idiot Profarchi. He keeps mistaking my office for the evidence locker. So that this nuke. could be that camera that Sam said had gone yeah. missing. Yeah. It could well be. I don't know why they keep Profarchi on. He only ever appears in the office briefly and then he's gone again. Yet somehow, he still manages to screw everybody else's work <laughs> up. One of these days, I'll frame him for taking kickbacks just to get rid of him. So evil, dude. Yeah, let's check out the work session. This is Jamie, my workstation. Oh, Jamie. It's the main administrative terminal for the entire network in this precinct. Looking you cool. named your workstation? It's kind of lame, dude. Yeah, dude. This from the guy who gave names to his nipples. At Ugh. least my workstation is functional. Shots. In today. It's my in tray. It's where all the mail addressed to the system's administrator gets put. You're the sysadmin. After the mailroom boy opens anything which looks like money, and stamps <laughs> on anything which looks high tech. <laughs> I expect it's because he knows I'm onto his secret. 
He's a covert operative for the CIA, and he's intercepting important communications for the suits back at Langley. Got it. Yeah, either that, or he knows it was you who backed the forklift into his brand new Verano. <laughs> oh. I guess that's also possible. <laughs> Man, I've got funny grudges. Okay, let's use this. Mel, what do we need to do to transcribe the interviews on these cards? Uh, Best case scenario, we just put the card in and let the software do its work. Please. As simple as that? Wow. If people keep designing intelligent software, it could put people like you, what are you out talking of a job. about? We have like five then seconds that is transcribing be? shit each day. Standing behind you in the welfare line. As long as evolution keeps designing idiots, there will always be a need for people like me. Hmm, that's strange. The workstation just restarted. Oh boy. Oh, sorry. I was leaning on the power switch. I rest my case. Okay, the first interview is processing now. That'll be fine. The second one looks to be in Spanish, though. Oh. Is that a problem? If we use the traditional transcription software, we'll be here all day. The one on my workstation does have a Spanish module, but I never got around to installing it. Oh, well, install it So, then. we need to find the Spanish software module. Or give up all hope of making the auditions, yeah. <sighs> now we need to find... What if I... This is a pretty nice camera. I wonder if anyone would notice if it went missing. <laughs> Haven't you half inched enough this month? Someone's gonna realize you're pilfering that antique card table in the Chief's private office sooner or later. Oh. Uh -huh. How did you know I was working on pinching that? <laughs> One of the legs has been sawn off. <laughs> I thought they'd notice if I took the whole thing at once. Huh? Hey, oh, I get. There's an SD card in here. It could be the one Sam wanted us to transcribe. Yeah, probably. Terrific. Whip it out then. Well. This is a pretty. Haven't you? So, how are we gonna? One of the legs. Terrific. Whip it. And those characters. They also. And let's treat them better. So what can we do in here? This is. Haven't you are? So what I need to use? Terrific. Whip it. Okay, we should skip those somehow. Okay, let's use. Do you think this is the SD card Sam wanted us to find? Oh, well, check it out then. If it isn't, this has been a pretty cruel red herring. Yeah. The card is jammed in here pretty tight. I can't seem to pull it out. Oh no! Pull it out. Push! Don't pull. Oh yeah. All right, all right. Jeez, you sound like Lucy. I always figured she'd be a bossy cow. You're not wrong, bud. She never let up. Let me take my hose off first. <laughs> are you sure it's supposed to be that color? What the hell are you <laughs> doing back there? <laughs> Aha! I got the card out. You were right. I was supposed to push instead of pull. I'll bet that's a great relief to Lucy. <laughs> Poor Lucy achievement a lot. Damn, this game. Okay. Well, let's use this again. This transcription software could have lots of other applications, don't you think? Like what? Like what? Subtitles for films and TV? For instance? Yeah, but think bigger. You could get it to transcribe football matches, and then you wouldn't have to pay commentators. Right. No, see, it only transcribes what people say. Audio recognition. It can't describe what's happening in the video, you pillock. <laughs> Even if it could recognize what was happening and somehow describe it, it would just be a dull, monotone voice describing everything in tedious detail. So only slightly better than Jim Buck. I don't uh, know what this is. Fair point. <laughs> is it finished transcribing? No, but it doesn't need any more human intervention. When Sam comes back into the office, the results will be waiting for her. We still need... 
Yeah, we had that plan cut. We need to find out the Spanish. Bill, do you mind? Do you remember the last time I let you use my workstation? When I got back on it, I had replacement cursors, toolbars for everything from the Vienna Riding School to the cast of Avenue Q, and a purple gorilla trying to make me laugh. If I want a purple gorilla trying to make me laugh, I'll ask <laughs> you to put the costume back on again. Your Damn. computer looked so boring. But yes, if you screens. want to use the computer, just be specific about what you want to process and I'll do it for you. Man, ah, he's such a hardass. So, what can we speak about? I need help. I, need I can't find the Spanish language module for your translation software. Yeah. Well, it must be in my office somewhere, mate. I always put software somewhere I won't forget it. Where did you put this software? I forget. <laughs> Damn. But it's Thanks, inside Mel. here. That's all. If Talk to you later. Okay, where could it be? Where could it be? In here? It's my entry. Uh, I expect it's because. <laughs> I... In the box. That's strange. This box isn't meant. I've memorized. He memorized everything. I don't have. Well, wait now. Yes, this is his office. I don't know. Well, I guess it's time. I'll save and we'll continue next time, guys. Don't forget to rate the video, follow the channel, keep up with the updates and support me. I'm Dixie and this was Avibad TV with the Let's Play of Supreme League of Patriots, issue 1 of Patriot is Born. Thanks for watching.